Welcome to the second of three videos about MovieSlate and Key Clips. This one's about keyword logging with MovieSlate for iOS. Key Clips logging is part of a MovieSlate Pro feature subscription, an optional in app purchase. Key Clips project setup is easy. Tap the Key Clips tab, then tap on a field to change basic production info like production name. Date, frame rate. Tap on the timecode to set it using an optimized keypad to enter new values, or display clock time of day. You can even sync timecode with compatible sound recorders, cameras, and timecode generators. Timecode is an important part of Key Clips logging, so timecode should be set once at the start of each shooting day. Tap the Log Keywords button to start logging. The Key Clips logging screen contains lists of keywords such as locations, people, activities, topics, and markers. Swipe left or right to view the keyword lists. Swipe up or down to scroll keywords within a list. Log a key clip by tapping a keyword that describes the action being filmed, such as these in an interview. When the interviewer asks a question, Tap the interviewer keyword to checkmark it and start its key clip. When the interviewer stops speaking, tap the interviewer keyword to uncheck it and stop its key clip. Multiple keywords can be started or stopped at any time. For example, if the guest says something notable, you might tap the notable or interesting keywords. If the guest starts saying something really important to your film story, you might tap the key point or on topic keywords. If the guest starts gesturing wildly, tap the gesture keyword to note that. If someone laughs, tap the laugh keyword to log that. A red badge at the top of each list indicates the number of active keywords in that list. Tap any active keyword to stop it. Tap here to simultaneously stop all active keywords in a list. Tap here to stop all active keywords in all lists. On a busy set, it can sometimes take a few moments for loggers to recognize that an event has actually started, such as a guest saying something notable. So a key clip can be started up to 60 seconds in the past by tapping these pre-roll buttons before tapping a keyword to start its key clip. Red time code is the master clock. Green time code is when a pre-rolled key clip will start. So when we tap this keyword now, with pre-roll, it actually started 30 seconds ago. Tap a list title button to change keyword lists or to create a new keyword list. To add keywords to a list, tap the plus button. Type or paste keywords, then tap the done button. Tap the edit button. Tap the list button to show or hide list columns. Drag keywords up or down to reorder them within the list or tap the Sort List button to alphabetize it. Tap a keyword's red minus button to delete it from the list. Tap on a keyword to edit its name, color, and other properties. Tap here to assign a pre-roll value to this keyword. This is useful for keywords like applause, which might always happen the same fixed number of seconds in the past. Here's a demo of how that works when logging. Tap here to assign a post-roll duration of two seconds. Here's a demo of how that looks when logging. Notice that the keyword now has a timer icon. When you tap a keyword to start its key clip, it will now auto-stop after the post-roll duration. Keyword links are a powerful way to start or stop multiple keywords with a single tap. For example, tap the question keyword to start its key clip. Tap the answer keyword to start its key clip and the question is automatically stopped. Tap the question keyword to start its key clip and the answer keyword is automatically stopped. All right, so here's how to set that up. Tap the edit button, tap the question keyword, tap the link other button, tap the add stop button, choose the answer keyword. Tap the answer keyword, tap the link other button, Tap the Add Stop button, choose the question keyword. Here's another example. Let's say we have a keyword list of a baseball team's player names.
and we want to start key clips for all the players with a single tap, like this. Well, we could add a new Dodgers team keyword, edit that keyword, and add some start links for each of the player name keywords. Now, if we added sync links instead of start links, then all the player keywords would both start and stop when the Dodgers team key clip was started and stopped. Markers are very helpful to editors and appear in Final Cut Pro as knobs attached to clips and sequences. There are three ways to log timecode stamped markers. Log a marker keyword by tapping a keyword in the markers list. Build marker phrases by tapping the plus marker button, then tap keywords from any of the keyword lists. Clear the phrase by tapping the red button. When done, tap the Save button and return to keyword logging. Log marker notes by tapping the New Note button. From Movie Slate's Settings screen, you can choose to display keywords as buttons, which look like this. From the History tab, tap the Share button to share log data. Share log data using AirDrop, Email, or MovieSlate Cloud. For more details, check out the Comprehensive User Guide, available in the Keyclips app itself or from movieslate.com slash keyclips.